3D modeling has changed the way of designing up to inclusion of 3D printing in manufacturing. It gives the designer the ability to physically see how much real the object looks like from all perspectives. When a design is made in 3D, it assists the designer with coordination. The designer can walk through a 3D model with specialized software and see the actual size and space of the design. It also allows the designer to see if their design conflict with other disciplines or existing conditions. The 3D walkthrough software also allows the designer to run interface checks to see if the design clashes with other items in the 3D model. By using the 3D walkthrough software, the designer can easily see whether the design allows the equipment maintenance access and operational access and addresses safety concerns. This allows the designer to create a more user-friendly design for the end user. The advantages of 3D modeling for designers is not limited to productivity and coordination. It is an excellent communication tool for both the designer and the end user. 3D models can help spark important conversations during the design phases and potentially avoid costly construction mishaps. If we see the complete development of a product from its initial research and development phase to manufacturing phase, we have to depend on CAD CAM and CA tools. In CAD, generally we model the object and then depending on level of analysis required, we export the model to most relevant CA tools and finally we proceed for manufacturing with CAM. Among CAD, CAM and CA, my personal inclination is with CA because of my expertise. But CAD modeling is also very important to have better analysis through CA. For CAD, we are having different softwares like NX, PTC Creo, CATIA, SOLIDWORKS, etc. Of course, all the other softwares are having their advantages and disadvantages. We know that for surface modeling of automobiles, CATIA is widely used. Similarly, for parametric modeling and analysis, PTC Creo is a really good one. Exactly in the same way, Considering versatility, SOLIDWORKS is widely acceptable because of its user-friendly approach towards modeling. And it can also be imported or transferred to different CAD environments for further high-level analysis. In this coursework, I have considered SOLIDWORKS as the main CAD software. This coursework is divided into two parts containing 20 videos. First part contains 15 tutorial videos with detailed modeling of mechanical components. The second part consists of 5 videos with assembly, motion study, mechanism analysis and a basic CFD analysis. This CAD course is made keeping in mind about the bigness. In this course together with the videos, CAD models are also provided for user's practice purpose. I hope you will be liking these videos. Thanks in advance for watching these videos. See you soon.